Hey hockey fans, Erica L. Ayala here, one of your Premier Hockey Federation broadcasters. We are here in Toronto for the 2023 PHF All-Star Showcase, and I am here with captain of Team Canada, Kaylee Fratkin, also representing the Boston Pride. <laughs> but uh, what's it like to be back in Canada representing Team Canada? It's really cool. Um, it it is, uh, it's nice to be on home soil, sort of, <laughs> even though I'm from Vancouver. It's nice to be um, in Toronto. I have family here, so it'll be nice to have them come to games. But it's also just like a really cool opportunity for us to celebrate kind of the nationalities in this league. And, um, you know, obviously when you get to represent Canada and, and wear some sort of maple leaf on your jersey, it always is, it hits home and it's a little bit more special, I think, for everyone. Yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. This is the first time the PHF has come to Canada for the All-Star Weekend, but you've been a part of a few of them, yeah. you know, going back to some, some fans remember the chicken head. Oh my God, I didn't know if you were going to bring that up. <laughs> uh, so yeah, chicken head. We've seen a lot of things, but anything special that Team Canada has planned that you want to maybe like tease out a little here? I think we might be a little bit more on the, like we might be a little bit more boring than some of the other teams. I'm going to say that. I don't want to throw the team under the bus. But um, no, I, I think we're just going to have a blast. And I think for a lot of the players, they've, we've all kind of played with or against each other. So it'll be nice to kind of get to know some of the people that, you know, you play for so many years against, but you don't really get a chance to get to know them. So I don't know if you're going to see anything crazy. You Maybe you'll see some goal celebrations, but I don't want to hold this to anything. Fair enough. Yeah. Basically, what I heard is that Canada came to play hockey. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we want to win the cash prize. So I think we're more focused on that. Understood. Get a bag. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> All right. We're going to have some fun. We're going to do rapid fire. It's going to be focused. If we're, I'm asking about a teammate, it'll be focused on uh, the Boston Pride. Okay. All right. Okay. So, but first, need to get this on record. Is it true, true or false, that all of Anya Packer's style is due to you? Oh, true. True. Yep. Yeah. That's, do, uh, do we need to elaborate? I, I don't think <laughs> do so. Do I start? I, okay. No, I think, okay. we, I think we got it. Okay. I think we got it. <laughs> Speaking of style, I, I do see that Boston has really upped the game. I know you have been an advocate for the game day fits and the walk-up sellies, and Michelle J has been doing a great job capturing that. Is there money on the line, though? Because it, it gets I feel like it gets bigger every game. Like, what's the vibe there? I think people are starting to get a little competitive. Everyone's <laughs> like, okay, what, what kind of sneaks? It's so funny. Like, we have, uh, all of a sudden, we're on a road trip, and everyone's like, oh, did you see these sneakers? Oh, I want to get these sneakers. Fratty, what do you think about these sneakers? And so-and-so's like, what do you think about these ones? And no, I think everyone's actually having a ton of fun with it. It's an opportunity now to show people's personalities, and I think that's something that... Um, we have a ton of personalities behind the scenes in this league, so I think everyone's just having fun with it. Love that. Speaking of personalities, thinking of the Boston Pride, who's most likely to be late for the bus? Oh, uh, Jenna Rowe probably Ooh. I could throw in there. <laughs> oh, she's late to everything. Um, yeah, I, I'll go with Jenna. All right, Jenna it is. Most likely to get a Gordie Howe hat trick. <laughs> Well, these days, it could be Olivia Zafuto, <laughs> but I might not be far behind that. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty solid. That's a pretty solid answer. We're going to have to figure that one out. Now, I've been calling four goals in a game. I know that hockey has a different name for it, but we've been going with the Taylor Accursi trick because she's the first oh, one to do it in this league. Who do you think could get an Accursi trick on the Boston Pride and maybe rename it? Lauren Gable or Elizabeth Jaguar. Solid. Yeah. And they're playing for what team? The Boston Pride. And this weekend? Team Canada. Okay, there you go. Team we have Canada. the young guns. Team Canada came to US play. has the old ladies. <laughs> you know, I heard that from someone before. It's like a theme. It's, it's pretty like... funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, age, beauty, over experience. We'll find out. I was like, I'll just have my coffee, sit back, and all the kids can play. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is going to be a good time. All right, we'll close it out with this one. Um, who gets... The party started. We've heard who we don't like the music, right? Boston did that. But who is best on the Ox? Uh, Christina Putina is solid. I believe that. We have a Spotify playlist, and I would like to say that I really contributed to it, but it was her 99% of it. There we go. Yeah. That makes sense. I a just lot hit play, and then people are like, oh, wow, the music's awesome. I'm like, yeah, I know. I did such a good job. <laughs> Delegate. <laughs> Delegated. <laughs> Freddie, thanks so much. Thank you. Best of luck to you, not only this weekend, but the rest of the way. And make sure, fans, that you are tuned in to the Premier Hockey Federation. You can watch on ESPN+.